Hello everyone, this is Lam Insane of LS Web Apps and in today's video, we're going to have a look at anonymous functions in PHP. So what are anonymous functions? Okay, so up until now, we have been giving names to our functions. So let's say that sometimes you just want to use a function once and forget about it. We don't want PHP to take up its memory and remember the function later after the use. So that's when anonymous com functions come into use. And anonymous functions are pretty special in that um, you can pass them as arguments and um, yeah, stuff like that. Okay, so let's see how to make use of anonymous functions. So let's just remove everything that we have here. Well, let's say we have um, some function and um, it's called, call, let's just say calling anonymous. Okay. And um, well, yeah, so basically what's happening here that this function takes another function. So let's say funct or let's just call it some function. And um, it's going to be just calling that function. Basically what this means is that um, we are, well, I made a mistake here, function. So we are creating a function called calling anonymous. And then we're also receiving a function as a um, argument here. And then that function, we're gonna call it inside this main function here. So this function will be passed in. So let's see how we can make use of calling anonymous. So we'll say calling anonymous. And in there, there's two ways that we can pass in anonymous function. You can store them inside a variable. So let's just say this here, um, some fun equal to, and then we can just say function and that's what we have here and we'll just say um, echo and in brackets we're going to say three times three that should give us nine so now basically we can just say since this function is stored in this variable and that's one thing that's awesome about anonymous functions you can store them in variables and then we just pass that variable in here so now what's happening this function will be passed in here and we're calling this passing the function and that this anonymous function which has been passed in here is going to be executed in the function. So let's go in a browser, we will see nine if everything works out fine. And apparently we have an error. So it says unexpected on line four. Let's see what's happening there. Okay, I forgot the um, dollar sign here. So basically you have to pass in that dollar sign. Okay, so going back here. Refresh, as you can see, nine, okay? So that's one way you can pass in anonymous functions. Or you could not store them in a variable if you don't need to remember them. And you can all the same pass them in here, just like this. Yep, that should work as well. So I should go back in the browser, refresh. And as you can see, we still have nine, okay? So um, that's how you use anonymous functions in uh, PHP. And you may be wondering what is the use of um, anonymous functions? Well, sometimes, as I said, um, some functions in PHP expect you to pass them a function, okay? So that brings us to the end of this tutorial video. And as usual, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask on the forums. And um, I shall see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.